In this video, we take a look at assemblers, compilers and interpreters. So let's just start with a quick recap from our previous video. Assembly code is translated directly into machine code using an assembler. High level language source code can either be translated into machine code using an interpreter or a compiler. So here we can see a program that we've written in assembly language using what's known as a little man computer, simply as a simulation tool. Now, before we can run the program, we need to tell our assembler to assemble the code into RAM. Now, when we do this, we notice firstly that in the memory, we've now got some deanery numbers. Now, this is just to make it easy for you to understand because of course, really, these are going to be in binary. But we can see how the assembler has changed the assembly language into a machine code equivalent. We can also see that we've lost our variables. So on the original program on the left, we had a variable called counter and we had a variable called one. And these have been replaced with memory addresses. And this is what an assembler does when it translates assembly. It takes your assembly language and it converts the labels into machine addresses in the memory. And it converts or translates to your assembly language directly into machine code. So let's take a look at the difference. So here we're going to look at an example of a compiler. Now I've got a short program at the top here and I've deliberately got an error in line two. Line two should say print, so that's a syntax error. I've put P-R-I-N and I've gone to run that program and you can see the output at the bottom there. You can see we have an error on line two, which is preventing our program from running. This error needs correcting before the program will run as shown here. And this is the essence of a compiler. It won't run unless all the errors in the code are corrected first. It tries compiling the entire program before executing it. So this is exactly the same program as the one we just saw in Python. However, this time we've written it in a very early high level language called BBC Basic. Now this is interpreting the language. So let's see what happens when I run it. Well, again, I've got an error here deliberately in line 30. It says NXT and it should say next NEXT. But you can see the program has partially executed. The first line, line 10, has executed and been run. And the second line, line 20, has executed and run. And indeed, it's printed out the contents of the variable counter to the screen. It's then reached line 30 and it's discovered a mistake. So with an interpreter, we are translating each line of code and then running it before moving on to the next. So I can correct the syntax error in line 30. Let's just do that now. And then if I run it, you can see the program runs exactly the same as the earlier version did with the compiler. So just to recap then, a compiler translates source code from high level languages into object code and then into machine code ready to be processed. The whole program is translated into machine code before it's run. The advantages here is there's no need for further translation at runtime. The speed of execution is faster and the code is usually optimised. It also keeps the original source code secret. The disadvantages is the source code is easier to write in a high level language, but the program will not run with syntax errors, which can make it more difficult to write the code. The code would need to be recompiled every single time you made a single change to the source code and it's designed for a specific processor. That's the finished compiled code. With an interpreter, we translate the source code from high level language into machine code ready to be processed by the CPU, just like we do with compiled code. But this time the program is translated line by line as the program is running. The advantage is as it's easy to write the source code because the program will always run stopping when it finds the first syntax error. 
code does not need to be recompiled when the code is changed, and it's easier to try out commands when the program has paused after finding an error. This makes interpreted languages very easy for beginner programmers to learn to write code. The disadvantage is translation software is needed every time the program is run. This causes a slower speed of execution over compiled machine code. The code isn't optimized and the original source code is needed. An assembler translates mnemonics in a low-level assembly language into machine code ready to be processed by the CPU. It changes labels and variables in assembly into memory addresses. There are various advantages. There's no need for translation software at runtime. The speed of execution of the code is quick. The code is usually optimized. An original assembly language code is kept secret. There are obvious disadvantages. It's hard to write in assembly with a limited and hard to understand commands. Code needs to be reassembled whenever the code is changed. An assembly code is always designed for a specific type of processor.